So here's the valve. I just completed cleaning it on a brass wire wheel in my bench grinder. You can see I got all the carbon off that was built up here. Did the face, wiped it down so it's nice and clean at this point. So the next step is I'm going to lap in the valve. Now again, as I stated, I think earlier, uh, it's really not practical to do serious material removal on these hardened valves and hardened seats. So as long as they're not seriously pitted, which uh, so far this engine is not, I can clean them up and make them look really good. So note the condition of that valve face right there. You can see the little silver ring where it was seating down against the head. And then the valve seat itself is not pitted. The next step would be to take these valve lapping tools, buy them at any automotive supply, and find one that's appropriate size to the valve. You can see that one's too big. This one's just about right. It's just a suction cup. So what I'm going to do is attach this to the valve insert the valve back into the valve guide. This is a valve grinding compound I'm going to be using for this project. You can get different grits of this. I'm only going to use the one. This is a water-based compound. It, it provides a fine grit or texture to assist with the valve grinding operation. So I'll put a little bit of that around the valve seat of the valve itself. I will take the suction device, attach it here, put it down in the valve guide, and then you'll see how I'm going to lap them in here, or lap it in just a moment. I'm also going to add just a wee bit of 3-in-1 uh, oil to the valve stem here so that when I put it back through the guide it has a little bit of lubrication. So now we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of valve, add a little valve grinding compound. And you don't need to overdo this. Yeah, we got quite a bit there. So I'm just going to make sure I've got compound all the way around. It's going to get spread around here in a moment as you're going to see when I go to lap the valve. Take the suction device, I already had selected this one that is the appropriate size for this valve. It's just a suction cup. Make sure it's got a good grip. And just a little bit of oil to the valve stem. You see there, made sure my fingers are clean. And you don't need to overdo it. Reinsert the valve. Now what I'm going to do is take my hands, put on each side of the tool, and I'm going to spin the valve, lift it. It doesn't take that long on valves that are in good condition like these. See it popped off. That's not unusual. You notice I'm lifting and twisting to reposition and spread the paste evenly. I can, I can remove the valve at any time. I want to check the condition so you make sure that I got enough paste. Look at the valve seat in the head. This doesn't have to be a long drawn out affair, especially if your valve seats and your valves are in really good condition. If you want to make sure that this sticks a little better, you can moisten this cup. I'm not going to do it for this exercise, but that is one way to make it stick a little bit better.
total time, oh, you're probably talking realistically a minute or two. It depends on the condition of the valve and the valve seat. So I'm going to wipe off the compound. What I'm looking for is a nice continuous gray metallic band all the way around. In fact, you can see it on this valve as well as the one I did previous. I'll check the seat too. And this is a water-based compound. The head will be thoroughly cleaned in my uh, parts washer. I'll take great care to clean that up before I put everything back together. So what I'm looking for is a nice gray, I'm not sure the camera's going to pick it up, a nice gray ring all the way around this valve seat. I'm not quite there yet, so I've got a little bit more work to do. So I'm going to duplicate the process again, put a little valve paste around here, make sure it's evenly distributed, attach the suction tool, put a little drop of oil, put it back in, and we'll keep doing it until I'm satisfied. Again, a couple of minutes is usually all it takes. Okay, I've about got this valve done. Total time in lapping, a minute and a half, maybe two minutes. You can see the little gray silver streak around the edge of the valve seat, or the valve seats, as well as here in the head. But uh, I'm satisfied with it. I think this is going to be okay. So I've got the both valves on a number one cylinder done. Now I'm going to move on and duplicate the process on two, three, and four, which I will not be recording again because it's repetition. The next step after the valve lapping is complete, I'll replace. I'll do a thorough cleaning of the entire head, dry it off really good, and then I'll replace the valve stem seals, and then reattach. Um, all the valves, reinstall all the valves and get the head ready to go back on the engine.